So, I measured it real quick and uh, I was greeted by a lot of, a lot of resonance. So, I think the idea I had with this P profile might be when it's compressed, compresses to the inside, like inwards, might be true because the membrane is hitting the magnets all over the place, which is kind of weird. I've made such a panel before and it didn't, well actually it's here, and it's not hitting the magnets all over the place. So I think this profile is not nice. Another thing is I had a, in this tweeter, I have a D profile in there. So that looks like the P, but it's wider. So it's easily compressible, but it created a weird, huge dip at the upper frequencies and then went back to normal. And this one is exactly doing the same. Now this could well be coincidence and might be a completely different thing or it might be the material, the, the sort of damping I used. I'm not sure. I think it might be something else. I can't remember if I, I made any tweeter with the P profile that also had this huge dip. I don't think so. It's just funny that both of these drivers have it. Uh, <clears throat> in any way, uh, there's a huge dip in here somewhere and I'm not sure what it is. I will ch change out the damping first. If that's not it, then you would think it might be the metal plate, but then again, here is a metal plate, which is kind of the same size. Oh yeah, also I didn't mention yet, but uh, you see tape here. I uh, measured it first without the tape on front and back side, but I had this weird dip and I thought, well, you know what, I'll tape it off just like this one, which doesn't have this weird dip. I'll re-measure this by the way, because now I begin to doubt myself, but I don't think it has that. Uh, yeah, so, and uh, now I'll add a video that I recorded before this video that explains this tape. I recorded it in a different order and the idea was I remove the tape right now and record the video I make right now. As you can see, I forgot that. Uh, I tried covering up the side holes that I did not have in the previous version. Uh, and uh, you can see, and also on the back side by the way. And uh, here's a measurement of that cover compared to not cover. And uh, what you see is the top end still looks uh, crap, or at least this weird dip is still there. Um, uh, but you can also see that it lowers the uh, resonance of the panel. It's not actually lowering resonance, but I think you damp it more. While, uh, and that's why it actually lowers the resonance of the panel itself. I'm not sure if this is, uh, I don't think it's needed. At least it it doesn't change much to uh, the dip I like to be uh, gone. Oh, there's also one funny thing. If you only taped off the front side, and I'll show you here, a front side, and you can see the distortion, uh, especially second uh, harmonics rises. And then with tape on the back side as well, so it's all equal again, then this uh, second harmonics uh, drops again. So that's kind of funny. So the air load front to back uh, does influence the second harmonics um, as well. So the imbalance of the motor, which is kind of correct, of course, because it's damped on the front and not so much on the back side. I think that might be causing it, or at least, yeah. Anyhow, um, yeah, uh, fail number one, at least.